Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right for Lychee Friday. It is September. It is a beautiful fall, uh, actually more like summer day today around here. Not complaining at all. Love the fact that summer is continuing on. Um, so yeah, we've got so much good stuff. I am so excited to share with you guys. So today we have the Spruced Up Bundle is what we're going to play with. Hello, Philomena, on Facebook Live today. Okay, so this is probably one of my most favorite stamp sets and die sets in the catalog, in the holiday catalog. So we've got so many cute images in the stamp set. Um, and then some fun sentiments. We've got, so Mary and happy Christmas. And then this other one is fun that says, whatever brings you happiness, may it be yours this holiday season. So you can kind of combine those together. Where is it? There's that one and that one. Or you can put, I did this a lot where I put one on the outside and one on the inside. Um, so kind of fun. And then you guys, so probably even my more favorite part about this is the die set. Okay. So hello, Teresa, how are you? So look at all of these dies, obviously. Um, the small and large tree coordinate with the dies. This is actually an ornament. So you can see that little cir circle die right there. And then um, the big ornament is right there. So then this other ornament doesn't actually have a stamp that goes with it, which is fine because you can die cut so many fun like images out of what you stamped or using designer series paper or emboss and then die cut. And the fun part is the outline of these. So it'll die cut the outline of the tree and then the tree itself. So you can put those back together. You can separate and use an outline from one and a die, the inside die cut from another. So there are lots and lots of options. I love to use designer series paper too. So I might use the outline in like a green and then some fun green designer series paper on the inside. So, so many great options have absolutely loved playing with this. You guys probably, well, hopefully have already seen that I did my class to go featuring this bundle as well. So I made, uh, hello, Bonnie, how are you? Thanks for sharing the video. So yeah, and hello, Beth. Um, I made my cards for the class to go and I was like, I don't want to stop playing with this stamp set and die set. So I was like, okay, that's what we're doing. We're playing with it on Facebook Live today too. So I've got two more awesome cards to share with you guys. Again, featuring the spruced up stamp set. And then these are called the spruced up outline dies. So we're gonna have lots and lots of fun playing with these things today, I promise. Um, and actually I paired it with some other designer series paper. I'll show you guys that in just a little while. So in the meantime, um, Yes, okay, we talked about that. So I wanna say thank you in advance so very, very much for your online orders that have been coming in. I truly, truly, truly appreciate. I know you guys have um, been watching and wondering and people have been asking, you know, are you, are, have you met your goal? Are you close to meeting your goal? Uh, hello, Linda, how are you? So my goal is the um, Stampin' Up! incentive trip. And I counted and I have earned the last nine trips. Last year was pretty close too. This year is going to be even closer. So I'm probably going to be like down to the wire on September 30th. I'll be like letting you guys know whether we did it or not. Um, but I am very hopeful and again, very, very thankful and appreciative for everyone that has put an order in already. Hello, Danielle. How are you? So if you don't know already, what I'm doing is I'm offering for every $50 that you order through me, right? I'm gonna give you a free celebration item. Now those are while supplies last and I've gotten a good amount of orders. So those are kind of going. So I'll warn you, there's a chance that those could, you know, I keep saying while supplies last, just like Stampin' Up! does. So when those are gone, um, I'm also giving 10 free Christmas cards too. So with your $50 order, you get to pick a celebration item and you get 10 free Christmas cards. Now, what I was thinking is if you'd rather not have a celebration item, I'll put, I'll I'll give you 20 free um, Christmas cards, okay? So either way, or if I run out, we'll do 20 free Christmas cards, okay? So either way, we'll make sure we get like an awesome thank you sent out to you for each of your orders through me. I'll give you the host code, it's on my blog. I'll give it to you in just a little bit too. Um, so my blog, gatheringinspiration.com, you can always grab it from there. I'm also posting on our Facebook group right here too. Um, what else? So you also are gonna get your name in the regular Facebook Live drawing and you get to pick a free embellishment or the PDF 
step tutorial. So lots of awesome incentives for putting an order in online through me through the end of September. So, and again, thank you for everyone who has done that already. I truly, truly, truly appreciate your orders. So we are plugging along. We have, I'll, as soon as, as soon as we get there, I will let you know. I have a feeling though it's gonna come right down to the wire, probably, like I said, probably right at September 30th is about when I'll know for sure whether this is happening or not, but I'll keep you posted. So, um, okay, let's see. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention, hello, Mary, how are you? Uh, one day retreat, our next one day retreat is coming up on Saturday, October 22nd, 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. right here in Alma at the Peace Lutheran Church out that way. Um, that's where I've been doing all my classes and events and it's a great spot to hold lots and lots of people everyone gets like an eight foot table you bring all your supplies whatever you want to work on I spoil you all day long with snacks and treats um, little prizes there's a goodie bag valued at over $30 we have make and takes featuring product from your goodie bag feed you all day long lots of little table treats and presents so anyway it's lots and lots of fun you can work on whatever you would like. And then I'll have displays there too. Um, I always bring all my um, scrapbook pages. So if you wanna use any of those pages, the ideas, you're welcome to do that or any of the cards that are on display. So it's an awesome, awesome day. Love for you to attend. The one thing I wanna make sure, cause I haven't been so good about advertising this, is I'm offering an extra free gift in your goodie bag if you sign up and prepay by next Friday, September 16th. So keep that in mind. Hey Vina, how are you? Um, last Last day to RSVP is like a couple weeks before the event. I don't even have that right in front of me, um, but I think I could look it up. Actually, I think I have a flyer right here. So bear with me one sec. Um, last day to RSVP is Monday, October 10th. So you still have actually about a month to get like a final RSVP in, but if you want that extra free gift in your goodie bag, make sure you sign up and prepay by next Friday, September 16th. You can prepay cash, check, credit card, PayPal, whatever you like. Um, I can send you the link with all the details if you want any more info. And actually, above this Facebook Live video after I get it uploaded after Facebook Live, I'll include the link there also for the one day retreat. So hello, Miss Kay, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Um, okay, so we are diving right in because I have a couple of drawings that we're doing today, right? So first drawing we're gonna do is for the fine sparkle um, adhesive back to gems, okay? So this is what I'm giving away if you shared our last Facebook Live video, if you signed up for my email list, or if you shared the class to go kit post. Your name is in here to win the fine sparkle adhesive back gems. Good morning to you too, Miss Kay. It's a beautiful morning, hopefully it is for you down in North Carolina as well. Okay, shaking those around. You guys know me, I always have to make sure they're all separated. So everyone gets a fair chance at being the, the winner of the fine sparkle adhesive back gems. And it goes to Miss Sabina Miller. All right, congratulations, Sabina. I will put those out on the porch for you after Facebook Live. So stop by and pick those up anytime. Okay, I'm gonna dump those out of the way. Let's see. I don't even know which drawing we're going to do next, so we'll figure that out in a moment. In the meantime, next Facebook Live, which is actually going to be next Friday. I know I've kind of typically been doing every other Friday, but the way it works out, I need to do a Facebook Live next Friday, the 16th, and then I won't be doing one. I think that would be the 23rd. I won't be doing one two weeks from now, so just kind of know that. We'll be right back here live next Friday, okay? So that's kind of fun. Won't have to wait too long to see you guys, so yes. So uh, next Facebook Live, I'm going to give away the rhinestone stone jewels. These are always an awesome embellishment, right, for all of your holiday projects. They're fun even um, for fall and Halloween and just adding bling to anything, right? So this is what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live. If you share this video right here, if you sign up for my email list, the link will be above this Facebook Live video for that as well. Or if you share the class to go kit post, which I actually already posted earlier this week. Hello, Janina. Um, so you can scroll back right here in our group and find that and share that anytime would love your help getting um uh, that the word out about the class to go kits because that's one thing that i'm uh, down a little bit on is my class to go kit sales so if you're interested if you know anybody that's interested love for you to um, spread that word and share the post and let other people know that those class to go kits are out there so i actually will be showing you guys that in just a little bit as well too so the next class to go super duper cute holiday cards is what we're making so, okay, 
Let's see what else, what else? Oh, okay, so I was gonna, <laughs> I, I was gonna say we're gonna draw for the perfect pomegranate stamp sets, but I actually got more perfect pomegranate stamp sets than I had people that bought the starter kit through me. So I'm just gonna announce every single person that bought the starter kit through me, and I'm gonna list those names, will win or receive a perfect pomegranate stamp set. That was something that I was doing in all of July and August, as I said, basically, if you bought the, um, the Stampin' Up! starter kit through me, your name would go in a drawing. Well, like I said, I have more stamp sets than people that bought the starter kit, so everybody gets a perfect pomegranate stamp set. So we have Miss Beth Martin, who I think is right here on us with the live, will receive a perfect pomegranate stamp set. And then Bonnie Pazdernick, who I think is also right here on the live, will receive a perfect pomegranate stamp set. Hello, Deb French, how are you? Uh, let's see, Miss Trish Hall will also receive a perfect pomegranate stamp set. And Miss Robin Wellens will receive a perfect pomegranate stamp set. So congratulations, ladies. Those were our four new inspired stampers um, that bought the starter kit during celebration. And so they all, all four of them, will get a perfect pomegranate stamp set. So I will get those sent out to you, ladies. And thank you so much for trusting me and becoming a part of our team and our expired stampers group. And um, hopefully you're enjoying your time here as well. So you're welcome, Bonnie. Thank you. All right, moving. I'm like moving right along because I have class this afternoon. So I'm, I always get like additional like, whoo, all right, we got to keep moving so that I'm not late for class too. So, um, okay, we are, let's see. Oh, I know what we're gonna do now, right? Am I doing this right? Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. okay, yeah, yeah. So our next drawing, okay, so this was another thing I've been sharing like all summer long, right? Was the super summer giveaway drawing that I was doing. So I put these flyers in everybody's orders and then I've been posting online about them. But I have over 300 entries in the drawing in the super summer giveaway drawing, right? So if during June, July, and August, you got one entry for each event that you attended, that included the class to go kit in terms of an event that you're attending. You got two entries for every $50 that you ordered that was at class and online. Uh, two entries for every picture that you posted of a project that you made right here to our Facebook group and use that hashtag super summer giveaway. You also got two entries for each new guest you brought to a class, three entries for joining a club, which were scrapbook club, simple beautiful card club, in color club, and paper pumpkin. You got five entries if you bought the starter kit and then another five entries if you um, hosted a private party or class. So like I said, I have over 300 entries in my little my little bag here this was a cute little bag that we received on an incentive trip this was on the greek islands you can kind of see um that is kind of symbolic of like the greek islands right okay so i don't know if you guys i don't want to dump it out but i've got can you see all the entries 300 entries in this bag so i am shaking these all around i made little just i'll show you guys real quick i stamped not even nicely but my little best of luck with a little postage um stamp punch and then put each person's name on the back of these so you're welcome miss beth for the perfect pomegranate stamp set okay so all right let me pull out we're going to do these in order and i'm going to be very organized so that I, hello, Miss Lori, we'll see you at class in a little bit. Um, make sure I get the right prize to each person. Okay, so I'm just pulling from my stack of prizes. So first of all, we have, let me make sure I get this right. This is, yeah, well, I guess it's the gold satin edged ribbon. Can you guys see? This is beautiful. This is gonna be a great one um, for your holiday presents, right? Okay, like, oh, there's a lot of pressure. There are so many in here. The first one, I'm shaking them all around so everybody has, at least these can't get stuck together because they're not folded in half. Okay, all right, so here we go. One lucky winner is Miss Denise Ledbetter. All right, congratulations, Denise. I will put that ribbon out on the porch for you. Congratulations, and I'll post too. So if you're not on the Facebook Live and you don't even know you won, I'll make sure that you know that you won too. I'll, I'll send you messages also. Okay, next we have, and these are gorgeous, we are using these today at my card class. These are the leaf label and amber gem combo packs. So they've got those beautiful amber gems and then the leaves. I don't know if you guys can see those, right? They're already die cut kind of out of a craft cardstock. It says you get 50, um, 
So I don't know, maybe there are 30 gems and 20 leaves is what I'm gonna guess, something like that. Okay, so those go to, oh my gosh, so many, so many. I'm like, I just feel like I have to like shuffle them all around a bunch. Okay, so here we go. We have, yes, one ticket. I'm trying to make sure. Sometimes I'm worried I have two, but that only feels like one. Okay, all right, Miss Tracy Claire. All right, congratulations, Tracy. You are the winner of the Leaf Amber Ge Leaf Label and Amber Gems. Okay, next. Oh, we have some more of the fine sparkle adhesive backed gems. These are so cute. They're kind of like a frosty. I feel like they'd be great like on um, ice cream or something too. I don't know. They look like little sprinkles on an ice cream cone. So, okay. All right, you guys are so sweet. All your congratulations for all these winners. Okay, next one goes to, let's see, one in my hand. I have Miss Kathleen Carroll. All right, congratulations, Kathleen. You are the winner of the Fine Sparkle Adhesive Back Gems. Okay, we're keeping these all nice and organized. Okay, next we have, and these are actually on back order. This was one of the um, celebration items that you could get for free, the Aspen Tree dies. So there's a stamp set in the holiday catalog that coordinates with these dies. Um, these are in there as well, but you could actually get these for free during celebration. So I picked up an extra pack of them and now they sold so many that they're on back order. So one lucky winner will receive those that you can't even get right now, which I think is so fun. Uh, let's see. Our winner is, let's see, let's see, let's see. We have, oh my goodness, Miss Denise Ledbetter again. Congratulations. Uh, that is awesome. Wow, 300 entries in here and the same person got two prizes. You just never know. Obviously, the more that you shop and come to classes and be a part of things, the more entries that are you have your name in there, right? Okay, so next we have the Twinkling Lights dies. Okay, so I have to look at these because I ordered these a little bit ago and I kind of don't even remember. Although, where's my, let's see. You know what? I know we can just open them up. I was going to show them in the catalog, but let's just open them up and take a look at them because I'm curious. I ordered these a while ago for this drawing and I'm like, I don't really remember what they look like. So let's see. Okay. Oh yeah, these are beautiful. Okay, what are these called again? Oh, it's right on here. The Twinkling Lights Dyes. Those are gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I haven't really seen those much or played with them. And it looks like, oh, I think there's an outline too. So yep, hello, Monica. You can die cut just the um, Christmas tree or all the detail and the outline. Anyway, okay, these are really just beautiful. Okay, I'll put those back together um, before I mail them out to whoever wins this one. Those are beautiful though. All the little um, snowflakes. Ooh, I think I need those myself. Those are really pretty. I don't have those yet. Okay, so one lucky winner. I've got one name here, Miss Trish Hall. All right, congratulations to Miss Trish. She is the winner of those, what are they called again? The Twinkling Lights dies. All right, congratulations. Okay, next we have two more prizes. Okay, ladies, oh, 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 love this stamp set. This is the Joyful Flurry stamp set. Okay, so some fun sentiments like, Mm, it's a season of magic and wonder, and I always love the two different types of fonts together. Sending you all the best this new year is this one. Oh, that's pretty too, that cursive. The joyful wishes, let it snow, and I think that's it. Oh, well, there's a little happy Christmas. And then some beautiful snowflake imagery. I always love the snowflake stamp sets. Hello, Wanda, how are you? Thanks for joining us. Okay, so the winner of the Joyful Flurry stamp set is, let's see, who is our winner? We have Miss Jennifer Tilton. All right, congratulations, Jennifer. You are the proud new owner of the Joyful Flurry stamp set. Okay, last prize. And this is my favorite, you guys. I Like I said, I've been playing with this stamp set for the last week or two and absolutely love it. So I was like, we got to give one of these away also. So the spruced up stamp set is going to go to, 
Let's see who is our lucky winner. And I want to say thank you for everyone that participated um, in basically in helping me um, with my Stampin' Up! business, supporting me in my business this whole summer and all year too. So thank you. Um, love to do these things to be able to say thank you to you also. Okay, so the winner is Miss Barb Savage. All right, congratulations, Barb. You are the proud new owner of the Spruce Up stamp set. Okay. Here we go. Again, thank you guys so much for participating in the Super Summer Giveaway. And we'll probably do it again next summer too. So if you don't feel like you had enough opportunities to get your name in here, we'll do it again probably next summer and you can get your chance then too. All right, I'm throwing that stuff over, in, over there out of the way. Okay, I think, yeah, we've had lots of drawings, lots and lots of fun stuff given away. Okay, now we are going to draw for, well, let me back up. In case you haven't been with me on Facebook Live in a while or you forget, right? If you put an online order through me, you guys are also sweet, using the host code that I'll give you that's also on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, you automatically get these two cards as a thank you for me. These are the cards that I demonstrated on our last Facebook Live. So same thing on our next Facebook Live, you'll get the two cards I'm gonna demonstrate in just a little bit, right? Okay, so you get these two cards as a thank you from me. You also, when you bump your order up to $50, you get to pick from either the free embellishment, which are, this month is the adhesive backed sequins and gems, and these are beautiful, okay? So you can pick from those with your $50 order or the September Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, which this is my project in here for the month. Um, basically fall kind of projects in here. Uh, 16 different projects though, step-by-step, -step, um, color, pictures, exactly how to make everything right in here. So you can pick either one of those, right? And then because I've extended celebration, you get to pick a free celebration item, right? And online orders get 10 free Christmas cards as well, okay? So all of that for your $50 order, again, is my kind of incentive um, to hopefully get some additional orders to put me over the top for that Stampin' Up! incentive trip to Norway, which I've never been to Norway. That sounds kind of like a neat place to visit, right? Um, okay, and then also, your name is in the drawing right now. Let me put these names in here for our snowman magic stamp set, okay? So, and then I'll announce um, what we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live too in just a moment. So you get all that free stuff with your $50 order through me. So yes, <laughs> thank you guys. I know the cards, those fall cards were beautiful. Thank you, Linda, I appreciate that. Yes, and I have lots of cards I need to make for everybody as um, thank yous for your online orders. So that's kind of fun. Um, love making these cards for you guys too. So, okay. All right, so one lucky winner here that used the host code and ordered through me will be receiving the Snowman Magic Stamp Set. I'm glad you like that PDF too, Linda. Yeah, there are lots of good ideas in there, aren't there? Okay. All right, one lucky winner goes to Miss Debbie Britland. All right, congratulations, Debbie. You are the winner of the Snowman Magic Stamp Set. So I will get that sent out to you. All right. Okay, we are moving right along. Okay, so again, on our next Facebook Live, you're gonna get the cards I demonstrated. You are gonna to get to pick from the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the um, free embellishment. You get to pick a free celebration item while supplies last. You get 10 free holiday cards and your name goes in the drawing to win. This is a super cute, it's the Vintage Christmas Stamp Set. Of course, it's on the UPS truck, driving around Elmo right now. My order's coming in this afternoon, so I don't have it quite yet, but this is the stamp set that we will draw for on our next Facebook Live, okay? Super cute little vintage bottles, the vintage Christmas stamp set, okay? In addition to all that other awesome stuff you get for free with your online order. Okay, I think, yeah, we are ready. We are gonna flip the camera down, okay? Yeah, okay, I'm good. Just trying to make sure I did show you guys everything. Yep. Okay, turn your heads away. We're flying through the air. Gonna flip the camera down and I'm gonna show you guys the class to go featuring that spruced up stamp set too. Okay, something feels a little wonky here. Let's see when I flip it. How are we looking? Yep. Oh, and we've got the sun is now. Mm-hmm. Okay, hi Kay, how are you? 
All right, I think we're okay. Let's see, I'm gonna move the table a little bit. It's happening, right? When the sun gets a little bit lower in the sky, I don't know, whatever that is. You know, when the days get shorter, the sun gets, <laughs> the sun gets angled or something. So, okay, um, I'm gonna grab right now. Here's our new host code for September. So this is the code that you'll wanna use when you uh, order online. Just go to stampinup.com, enter your order at the end when you're in your shopping cart. There is a section that says host code and this is the host code you're gonna to wanna to enter. The DWYNH6SV, okay? And then that'll get you all the fun freebie stuff. Um, I should actually say though, if you order over $150, don't use this host code. I get an email with every single order that comes through. Get your own host rewards. If it's over $150, you're still going to get all the other stuff um, that I'm offering as well to free with your order. Okay. All right. So I want to show you guys my spruced up class to go. Okay. Let me get everything here. Okay. We'll scoot this up and out of the way for the moment. Okay, you guys, if you haven't seen my YouTube video I just did this week with this, where are the, where's the spruced up stamp set? Okay, so again, spruced up stamp set, spruced up outline dies. Um, they also feature the adhesive backed seasonal sequins, the red and green, so it's garden green and real red ribbon, beautiful ribbon, right? And, one of the best things the I went with, this is the uh, Sweetest Christmas Designer Series paper. So you guys can see kind of all the traditional kind of red and green um, stripey paper on the one side, and then here's the other side. So we've got a bunch of um, candy canes and then just some other kind of fun, again, traditional red and green Christmas kind of holiday paper there, right? Okay, you get a quarter of a pack of that paper too. So let me show you the cards and then I'll tell you the options that are available with the spruced up class to go. So we have this fun card. So you can see how you can die cut all of the outlines and I just put them back together. There's some designer series paper, the little Merry Christmas and then the stamp on the inside. Next one, we've got a happy Christmas with some of that beautiful ribbon and the little sequins and then just a couple little stars stamped right there. Then this is fun. I love, this is what drew me to this um, this whole bundle is these dies that cut out just those um, little outlines of the Christmas tree. And then this one, whatever brings you happiness, may it be yours this holiday season. And then lastly, love this paper. Love all of it, right? We've got the Merry Christmas and then the cute little candy cane. I love that little candy cane. That's going to end up on lots of my envelopes this holiday season, I think. So again, four cards. You get all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. Option number one includes the full bundle, the stamp set, and the dies, full package of the sequins, full bolts of ribbon, quarter pack of the designer series paper. You also get to pick a free celebration choice while supplies last, plus the PDF tutorial that tells you step-by-step -step how to put all four cards together. Um, option number, oh, actually you get the paper, the designer series paper for free. So option number one is $81. It's packed full of lots of product that you'll be able to use for these cards and then have lots left over to use for whatever else you would like as well. Option number two is if you already have the stamp set and dies, make sure you don't order option number two if you don't have these because you do need to do your own stamping and die cutting. You're going to get the sequins, the ribbon, the quarter pack of paper, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. PDF tutorial option number two is $32. Then we have option number three, which is the PDF tutorial that just tells you step-by-step step how to put everything together. You're gonna to do it all on your own. That is $15. It's actually free to any of my current Inkspired stampers. So anybody in my downline, you can get the PDF tutorial for free from me and any of my past tutorials as well. And then option number four is also for my Inkspired Stampers team. They can get the make and takes. Again, all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards. They get the sequins, the ribbon, the designer series paper that they need. They still need to get their own stamp set and dies. Get those through your own demo ID and use your discount, right? Option number two, or excuse me, number four for my downline is $14 for those make and takes. 
Um, let's see, RSVPs are due, what would it be, two weeks from today on Friday, September 23rd, and the kits will ship out no later than October 5th. If you do need the kits shipped to you, it's an additional $10 for the priority mail shipping. So let me know if you have any questions on that. If you would love to become a member of the class to go club, basically that just means that you um, want to get these class to go kits every single month. And I will say too, if there's one month that you're like, ah, that just doesn't do it for me, because you know, there's always that chance. You can skip that month and we'll just add an extra month onto your, under your club membership. So know that there's always lots of flexibility. You can pick option number one or option number two every single month. You just get some fun cards in the mail, kits to make your projects, the PDF tutorial, and you also get $30 in free host benefits the month that you are the host, which basically means you just get free stuff. And then I love to send cute little treats out to everybody as well for being in club. So let me know if you have any questions on this class to go. I will include the link to the details to sign up for this class to go um, above this Facebook Live video as well. Okay, all right, I think we are ready to do our stamping. Thank you, ladies, I loved those cards. And it's funny, because when I went to um, design the cards, I, you know, some days you're kind of just not feeling it as much as others, and I was kind of worried because I wasn't really like feeling card making that day for whatever, and I guess creating, right? I can case with the best of them. <laughs> you guys know that. But me, I have to be in the right frame of mind to um, be designing cards. So actually what I did was I started pulling out cards um, from previous years of holiday cards. And I'm going to share that with you actually as I share this card right here too. This is the card that I'm going to demonstrate for you today featuring the spruced up stamp set and the outline dies. So this is kind of a great example too and a, and a great reason why I thought, you know what, I have all of these extra holiday cards and they're, they're old ones. They feature product that you can't get any longer. You may have this in your stash or it might just inspire you to use, you know, something that you have, um, or even the card layout, which is what I went with, right? So I did that for my class to go, and I did that for my Facebook Live cards too. So here's kind of just a general layout, and I went with the basic layout, and then I designed this card with this spruced up stamp set and dies. So um, let's see, <laughs> Linda, you are partial. Yes, the holidays, especially on that diagonal. There's something really fun about that. These polka dots were pretty darn cute too. But my point in kind of saying this about I'm loving um, the fact that I'm going to get some of my Christmas cards mailed out to you guys, because what I don't do is like when I send Christmas cards to my customers around Christmas time, I make sure I use current product. So that way, if you see something that you like on the card, you can still get it. So this is a little risky risky for me because I'm going to send you 10 free Christmas cards with your order and it's they're all with old product too but like I said you might have that stamp set or die set or you might have that paper or it might just be a great layout idea for you so I thought either way it's a win-win right so okay all right here we go I'm chatting an awful lot here today aren't I okay we're gonna get these things out and all of a sudden I'm like, where's my ink? And then I realized I already put it out. Okay, so we are going to start. This is a Poppy Parade card base, okay? Piece of cardstock, eight and a half by 11 along the 11 inch side right here, right? Can you guys see that? I think you can. We cut it at five and a half inches and then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay? So there's our nice crisp fold on our card. We have two pieces of basic white, oh, look at that, look at the inside, isn't that so fun? Love that, right? Okay, so we have the two pieces of basic white cardstock for the inside and the outside that measure four by five and a quarter inches. I will include all of the colors, the dimensions, everything that I used on these cards on my blog at Gathering Inspiration. It's going to be tomorrow. Um, because I've got class this afternoon and can't, I've got other things going tonight too. So I'll get everything uploaded tomorrow. So just know that jot down notes now if you want to get your order in right away, or I will have everything uploaded to my blog tomorrow morning. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. Also I'm trying to see what other pieces we need size wise. Okay. We have this piece of designer series paper that goes right there that measures one and one quarter by five and one quarter. So that's gonna go across there. And then we've got these pieces again of Poppy Parade, two and three quarters by three and three quarters. And then basic white two and a half 
by three and a half, okay? And then I've got some scraps that we're going to do our stamping and die cutting. And I actually already cut one of these leaves because I'm gonna to have to cut another one out of Poppy Parade. So instead of watching me like run it through a couple of times, which you guys see how cute that is, right? You can use just that image, you can use the outline, you can put them back together, you can separate them, which is what I did here, okay? So lots of fun uses with this die set. Okay, all right, so let's see. We actually only have a little bit of stamping to do, so let's do that. And then we've got a bit of die cutting. Okay, so we're gonna stamp our Mary in Poppy Parade ink. I just have a little scrap of basic white cardstock. So we're gonna do nice, easy tap, tap, tap. Press straight down, lift straight up. Doesn't matter if it's crooked on there because we're gonna die cut it. Okay, and then let's do our stamping on the inside of a card. So we're gonna do Christmas and then that little tree right there. So I'm gonna grab one of those white pieces. Okay, so this one I want to try to get straight, as straight as I can. So we're gonna do the Christmas. Ooh, I love that. There's something about that font that I think they just always do such a nice job with the fonts. Okay, now this one I think I remembered was pretty darn inky, so I don't wanna to press too hard and then press straight down and lift straight up. There we go, all right. And then that was, what was that color? That was a uh, shaded spruce because I made my little tree out of shaded spruce cardstock too. Okay, all right, I think we're good with those guys. I'll scoot this one out of the way and these. Okay. Let me grab my die cutting machine and I'll show you how fun these little guys are. Okay, so we need this one. We are going to use the little scallopy edge from, these are, these are the scalloped contours dies, okay? So we're gonna just run this along this piece right here. I'll fix that in a sec once we Get everything on here, right? Okay. Then we need this and this, right? Okay, so then, oh yes, okay. So I use, let me show you, these are the hydrangea dies. You can see the beautiful hydrangea there. And then this is just this little label that's in there that we're gonna put on our Mary right there. And then we have all of these little trees. Okay, so I need this one and this one are what we're looking at. Okay, so I've got, this is Granny Apple Green cardstock and more of my Poppy Parade cardstock. And I think that's gonna do it then, right? Because I already have my shaded spruce. We've got our Poppy Parade right there and our Granny Apple Green right there and then our things, yep. Okay, that was as much for <laughs> you guys as it was for me to make sure that I have everything that we need here, okay? All right, and even if this thing ends up being crooked, you can like, um, you can tape it on there crooked so it looks straight again, if that makes sense. So I'll show you if that, because that looks like it might have a tendency to wing out there a little bit, but let's see. Okay. Let's see what we've got. Okay, so here's our little scallop edge, right? I love that. With the stitching too, can you guys see that? So pretty, pretty, okay. Then we've got our little Mary. And that one's got, oops, there we go. That one's got some stitching around it also. And then these are so fun. Actually, I'm gonna keep that on my, nope, I don't need that. I was thinking maybe I needed my tree dies, but so here we go, okay. So there's the outline and you can put that back together if you want. It's actually really cute to kind of see that outline like that. Or we're actually just gonna use this outline and we'll save that for another piece, another day, right? And then, oops, that one got stuck in there. Is that gonna work? There, okay, whew. Flung that off, didn't I, huh? And then our little tree right here also. Okay, fingers are being putsy. Okay, I think we have everything. So let's go ahead and put this baby together. All right, need a quick sip of water here. Mm. Okay, let's bring the card back in so we know what we're doing. Oh, I don't have my glasses either, but I think I can do this, right? Okay, let's see. I know we're going to need, if you guys don't have, this is like the silly little work surface, but so handy. Your little silicone mat is great for putting adhesive on those little outline thingies. So while I'm looking at this, let's get this one going right here. So we're going to put 
this little piece on the inside of our card, okay? So you just kind of use like a little, kind of a little flicking motion almost. And sometimes that happens, but it's the great part is it's still not sticking to my work surface at all. So we're just gonna add that thing right there. And then I press, and then if you've got sticky, you can usually just kind of roll that off. There we go, okay. We can put that right on the inside of our card. So we'll do that, okay. Oops. So here's our card base, the inside. We're gonna put that right in there. So cute, right? Okay, now to work on the outside. Oh, ho, ho, I forgot. We need to do some embossing, don't we? <laughs> yes, I love the stitching on all of the dies, Linda. That was like the best thing that they did was give us stitching on things, right? Okay, so I forgot. We've got to emboss. This is, I just used this embossing folder for the first time too on this card and of course fell in love with it. Okay, so this is, let me show you guys. It's called the Whimsical Woodland 3D Embossing Folder, okay? So can you see that, how cute that is? And here's the actual folder. Oh, I love it. Lots and lots of Christmas trees. Okay, so we're just going to lay that right inside there. Mm, we're going to make sure it's straight. It almost looked a little bit crooked. They give you that little line. Ooh, look at how I lined that up too. Okay, here we go. Let's get this one running through. Okay, done okay check this out the magic of embossing isn't that oh so cute huh everyone needs that the woodland embossing folder or the whimsical woodland 3d embossing folder let me get that straight huh okay all right now i bet you guys were like um amy you forgot to do your embossing these, when we have embossing, I like to put a good amount of adhesive around all of the edges because it doesn't like to stick quite as well, you know, once it's kind of bumpy. There we go. Okay, next, we're gonna bring this little guy back in. Oops, sorry, I kind of bumped that, didn't I? I want this piece, and again, I'm working on my little silicone mat, and I'm just gonna add some adhesive along here. And then that can go right there, right? Okay. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the paper too. I'll do that in just a sec. After we put this card together, I'll show you, because I don't think I've even mentioned that, have I? The designer series paper that we're using. I think it's the Santa Express. I think that's what it's called, but we'll find out for sure in just a moment. Okay. I'll show you guys all the patterns in it. Super cute, of course, right? Okay, so we're just adding a little white piece onto the, um, <clears throat> what's that color, Poppy Parade? <laughs> okay, yes, okay, we've got all of our little thingies here. Okay, so we're gonna just add a little bit more adhesive. Again, just kind of adding to the edges there. And a little bit more in here, but this little silicone mat works so well. And okay, so just be gentle. If it starts to come apart, you can usually kind of put it back together. All right, and then we're gonna add some adhesive to these trees. Okay, so let's see, to start with, we've got this piece. Okay, we're gonna add this tree right about there. Okay, let's kind of tap that on there. Then we're gonna add Let's see, I think we're gonna add this red tree right about there. And then this green one goes right about there. And then this other little baby, and we can straighten him out a little bit. We're gonna just kind of add him. Mm, let's see, I wanna move him over just a touch. So if you just don't press too hard, you can kind of lift it up and move it over just a titch more, okay? 
that little tree there, right? Okay, now we're gonna flip these over. I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this guy. Oops, that stuck to my finger and not to the paper. That's not gonna work very well, is it? Okay, got those. I'm gonna grab my minis for my little Mary here. Okay, all right, and then we're pulling these little guys off. So ladies, I have a birthday coming up next week on Tuesday the 13th. I'm like one of those people that don't think that um, 13 is an unlucky number, <laughs> I guess because it's my birthday. 52 years old. I don't feel that old most days. <laughs> most days. Not all days, but most days. So yeah. Going to um, get together with my kids this weekend, my whole family. We're all going to go out for dinner for my daughter's birthday. That was about two weeks ago, as well as my birthday. So that should be fun. Looking forward to seeing them. My kids are, so they're both off at college, doing their own thing, checking in with me somewhat regularly, but I think definitely um, living their lives and having lots and lots of fun. Oh, well, happy birthday to you, Miss Linda as well on the 23rd. Yes, happy, happy birthday. So we are 10 years apart in age, just about exactly then. Okay, well, I hope you have a good birthday too. We're gonna try to go up to Mackinac Island next week for a couple of days too. So that should be kind of fun. Okay, here we go, let's see. Okay, I'm making my little double bow. I guess I should have been explaining that, my little double my double bow with the, this is um, some of the sweet sorbet, which is a very similar color to um, the poppy parade. You can definitely kind of interchange those when you need to. Okay, so we're just adding a little mini glue dot. We're gonna put that right there next to the Mary. And then these are the seasonal sequins that come in your class to go kit as well. So they have some white ones. These are, I think they're gonna say that these are sweet sorbet. I think garden green and gold. Those are going to be my guesses. So we are going to use a couple of the sweet sorbet sequins. Okay. Oops, apparently a green one jumped ship on the wrong page there. That happens. You just have to be kind of delicate, you know, in your handling of these little guys. Okay. And one there. And then one more there. Okay. There we go. Hi, Lisa. How are you? So there is card number one with our Merry Christmas. And I just love the layering, right? With all of the different trees and outlines and kind of one on top of another and the different colors. So lots and lots of fun with that one, right? Okay. All right. We're going to scoot this out of the way. Actually, I'm going to grab my chamois and we're just going to clean our stamps off just so they don't make a mess. I always throw them back in my tub. It's easier to clean them right now. Get them out of the way. I don't know if I need any of those ink pad colors, but I guess we'll see in a moment. Okay, got a little bit of a mess here, but it's not too bad. Okay, all right. Oh, actually, before I move on, I wanted to show you guys the um, designer series paper. Santa Express. <laughs> working today. Oh, are you sneaking then? <laughs> are you sneaking watching? That's funny. <laughs> All right, here we go. So, uh, it's, oh, I don't know. I feel like I have to show you guys front and back, right, of all these. It's hard to see. Okay, so there's some fun stripes there, right? <laughs> you will need, oh, thank, all right, awesome, Lori. I'll, I can definitely get you signed up for one of these to-go kits. Super duper cute. So this, um, yes, isn't this so fun, right? Lunch, okay, that's better. Okay, that makes me feel better. I always get worried that people are gonna get in trouble. That's this um, pattern that we used on that first card I just shared with you guys. And then there's this one. I love those little trees and the snowflakes. And then here's some more little Santa and his bride, right? And then this says fa-la-la-la-la. I think that's super cute too. So, okay, so that is the Santa Express Designer Series paper used with the um, uh, class, well, not the class to go kit, but with these Facebook Live cards. 
Okay, um, let's go scoot that. I also wanted to show you guys. So here's another example though, back with the paper that is used in my class to go kit, the sweetest Christmas. So you can see they just um, this was a swap that I received. So this is just die cut, right? Right out of a designer series paper. She used that super cute woodland embossing folder. And look at that fun little, I didn't even use those stars. Now that I think about that, we could have lots of fun with those. And then she stamped her little Merry Christmas. And this was from Ruth Bingle. I remember her. I think she's got, she, so many people have such great ideas. Plus I love that she used that designer series paper, the little candy cane paper around the edge there too. So just had to share another cute idea with that stamp and die set, right? The spruce stop stamp and die set. Okay, so last card that we are making on Facebook Live. This is a, such a fun one also, right? Featuring that, I loved that ho, ho, ho designer series paper. And then I used more of the designer series paper. Um, for the present and the ornament. Some of that fun iridescent trim and a little happy Christmas. And then on the inside, I did some more stamping because I really wanted to show you guys all the cute stamps that come in the stamp set. Okay, and also to share with you guys, here's another example of a card that I had in my stash of holiday cards. Just kind of use the general layout to inspire me to create that card too. So great way to kind of use ideas from the past on your current projects as well. Okay, mm, let's see, I am gonna need that. My coffee parade ink, aren't I? Let's get all of my stamps out. Okay, I've got lots of little bits. Oh, I know, because I did some die cutting already, so you guys wouldn't have to watch me do everything. So as long as I don't lose those, then everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> all right. So this time we used Poppy Parade cardstock, eight and a half by 11 again, right? So along this time, along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And along the 11 inch side, we scored it to make our tall card at five and a half inches, okay? So there's that, right? Then we have these are the pieces you need to know about. On the inside, again, a four by five and a quarter basic white. That one goes right there, okay? And then petal pink cardstock, again, four by five and a quarter inches. That goes right there. And then the designer series paper on the side, this one measures one and three quarter by five and one quarter, okay? And then I have scraps of more of that um, Santa Express designer series paper. This is such cute paper, right? Okay, so that's going to be for our circle, for our scallop circle, and then these we're going to die cut for our ornament and our present, okay? And I'm seeing, I forgot to bring a little strip of that white. I don't think I have it in there, do I? Nope, I'm going to go grab a little strip for that. I will be right back. One moment. We go. It's a good thing the craft room isn't too far away from where I do these <laughs> videos. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna do, let's do our stamping and then we'll get our ink out of the way, okay? Because most of it is die cutting. We need this little piece though too, don't we? Okay. All right, let's do this little guy first. So we've got our Evening Evergreen ink pad. And again, all these colors were pulled from the colors they told me they used in this designer series paper. Okay, actually we're gonna do this one first. So I make sure I have room. Okay, so this super cute little candy cane. We're gonna stamp that one first. You guys just barely see, right? Then again, the little ornament. Stoop, oh. <laughs> That didn't work out very well, did it? Okay, we're gonna flip it over and try it again. If, all right, I'm gonna press in the middle. I was kind of, I feel like this one's super inky, so I didn't wanna press too hard, but, oh, I wonder if there must be something on there. I don't know. Okay, well, that's gonna have to be good enough. Now I've got ink all over my fingers. Okay, let's get that off of there. Oh, well, that was me. It's not the, it's not the stamp. It was me and the cute little present. Isn't that so cute? Okay, let's just make sure. I'm gonna stamp it on a scrap piece just so we know. I guess I should have, yeah. See, I should have just pressed a little bit harder. 
Sorry about that. Okay, well, you know, it happens to the best of us sometimes, doesn't it, ladies, right? Okay, and then the little top of the ornament. I'm gonna put that right there. Okay, so there's that. Now we are going to stamp our happy, nice, easy tap, tap, tap. I just want it to be straight on there. And then actually Christmas is over here in the other one as well, okay? And then we've got, again, nice, easy tap, 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 press straight down. Okay, good, those, those look straight. That was my main concern, <laughs> that I was gonna stamp them crooked. Okay, all right, scoot that out of the way. All those little stamps. So those are all cute though, aren't they, right? So we used that little present, we used that tree on the inside of the other card, the little candy cane, and then the ornament and the ornament topper. So used a bunch of, I wanted to show you guys because there's just so many cute stamps in there too. Okay, all right, so now we need to do some die cutting, okay? So I think we need those things right there. Okay, so let's grab the die cutting machine. Okay, are we in view? I have a funny angle on my camera today. Okay, let's see if we do. Let's put that one through, that one and that one, and this one and this one. Okay, so we have our layering circle dies. So the scallop one is the one, two, this is the third largest. Hi, Debbie, how are you? And then this straight edge is the second largest, okay? All right, so we're gonna stamp or die cut that one there and that one there, and then we're gonna use our little present and our ornament right here and here, okay? We're gonna die cut kind of the outline background of each of those. Okay, here we go. Crinking it through, so fun, right? Okay, let's see, what do we got here? So we've got our little, our circle, our scallop circle, okay? And then here, so this is, you guys can see that, right? How it stamps or die cuts. So you have that little circle that you can use for something else. And then the little present also, and we're gonna use that little outline for both of those, okay? Scoot those over there. Okay. All right, let's get this guy out of the way too. There we go. Okay, now we can put things together. And then let me show you. So previously, I had die cut out of designer series paper the little circle for the ornament and then the inside of the present. You can see those right there, okay? So same thing, I used the same dies. I just um, used the opposites of them, basically, okay? Actually, let's put those all right on there so those are ready to go. Okay, we might as well add some adhesive. Oh, so cute. That would be fun to use also, wouldn't it, huh, right? Okay, so we're gonna add our circle right there. We are gonna put some, where are my dimensionals? Hmm, well, they're here somewhere, but they're kind of lost apparently. So, oh, here we go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, something's not quite, I think we're good now. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh my gosh. My phone, it's like a little bit heavy or something. I don't know. Something wasn't quite tight there. <laughs> okay, we're back on track, I think. Okay, so we're going to add some adhesive onto our designer series paper. We are going to make sure the ho-ho-ho, I was like worrying that it was going to be upside down, that I would put it on upside down. That'd probably be a thing I'd do today, right? Our petal pink, this ribbon is the softest ribbon you will ever work with. We're going to just put a little strip of that. I just needed something to kind of finish. I didn't like just seeing that edge, so I added just this little strip of ribbon right here. Okay, oops, that one and that one. Okay, so we're gonna do that there. I always have to do one, flip it over and make sure I'm not like angled or something and then come back on the other side. <laughs> Hi, Miss Susie, how are you? I hope you're having a great Friday. Okay, so we're adding this piece right on here, right? Next we can 
peel off the backs of our dimensionals that I'm glad I found. They were just buried underneath the other ones, of course. Okay, our little shooting stars, we're gonna put that right there, okay. Now we are going to grab these pieces and I think it's easiest if, well, let's see. How did I do this? I'm pretty, I know I used my dimensionals. Um, I know what I did. Okay, so we're gonna do, we're gonna add a dimensional right here. Cause I was thinking, I knew I didn't um, have the designer series paper like inside out. You know, I wanna be able to see it. So I did it like this. And if you work on your little craft mat, it doesn't stick, right? So you should be able to lift this up and flip it over. And then actually we're gonna, I should probably just peel these off first, right? So we're gonna peel the backs off, okay? You have to be a little bit careful just cause it's barely hanging on to the edge there, okay? And then we're gonna lift this guy up Okay, flip it over and then we can add that right inside there like that, okay? Then it's all ready to go and it should be kind of holding things in place, the outline, okay? So there's that one. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Oops, that one right here, okay? So we're gonna flip these over. And, and you can see it's a little bit wider um, at the bottom than it is. I don't know if that's fitting quite right, actually. Maybe that one. You kind of want to try to keep them there. That looks better. There we go. There's that one and then that one. Whoops. Okay. And then we're going to add these. Oops. Okay. Now I got to take the, <laughs> take the back off of these and we're going to add the little present. It's like sticking to my finger right on there. Okay, all right, last, oh, well, almost last, right? We're gonna just trim our little happy and Christmas up. That one and that one, okay. And we're gonna put a couple of mini dimensionals behind these. And then we're just gonna add some bling and some of that little iridescent trim to kind of finish it off, okay? All right, so we'll do our happy first. All right, and so here's our little happy, and then our Christmas, our happy Christmas, right? That one there and that one there. Okay, so to kind of finish things off, we're gonna add, this is some of the super fun, this iridescent trim, it's like sparkly. Um, be great for like gift bags and things too, I think. Um, and it just adds a little glitter and sparkle. So we're just gonna make a bow. Um, it's a little thick, so you just have to kind of be patient with it when you're trying to, normally I can kind of pull and twist and so on a little bit easier than you can with that one, but it works. And actually, I think what I did was I added, um, yeah, let me grab my glue dot, put that, that goes there, right? And then one final little um, bling, the iridescent pearls, I thought would be a nice compliment to our iridescent trim. So I just added a few, okay, come on little pearl. We're gonna put one, maybe right there. Okay, where did it go? Sometimes it is easier. It's actually easiest if it flips upside down on its back. <laughs> I'm not as proficient. I should have my little, um, my other little tool, shouldn't I? I feel like these snips used to work better for me than they do <laughs> these days. I'm not sure what my problem is, but anyway, you get the idea. So, okay, so there we go, ladies. What do you think? So we've got those two cards. And then we've got these two, and I have this total mess around here, right? Okay, so quick reminder, and actually this should say $50, because you are gonna get so much with your online order now, right? Okay, so with your $50 order, make sure you use the host code. You're gonna get one of each of these projects. 
You get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the gems. You also get to pick a free celebration item while supplies last. You get your 10 free Christmas cards and your name goes in the drawing to win the vintage Christmas stamp set. All in an effort to try to increase sales and help me get over the hump to be able to earn that incentive trip that ends. So I have until September 30th. So you've got time. If you can't quite put an order in yet, you've got through the end of the month to be able to do that. And again, I so appreciate every single one of your online orders. And thank you guys for watching today. I hope you enjoyed these cards. They are, I'm already for Christmas now, at least Christmas card making anyway. So hope you guys have a great weekend and we will see you next Friday right here. Okay. Bye everybody. Thank you.